dreams are accomplished through hard work and trust. I think you have to trust that by putting in the hard work and being committed to working towards something that the outcomes you're searching for will happen rather than hoping or wishing that those things will come true because you can't predict the future. To make dreams reality you need a very good group of people around you. As a rider you also need to have the ability that you can use useful information. That's how you can come back stronger. For me, uh, I for sure you do, you one thing you hope to get this or do that, but I always uh, just believe on the thing we do and that we work to make it, and it only happens if you do everything you can to make it. To make a dream a reality, you have to work hard and you have to plan. Sometimes you don't have all control from your plans, but if you don't plan, you don't do. If everybody works together and everybody's fighting for the best result, then you will get the best result. And I think we are very lucky with the Paris Panthers that we do have a great team spirit. Team spirit is uh, really important. It's often overlooked, often underrated. You know, we often think of the sport as being an individual sport, as the team consisting of the rider and the horse. Uh, but with this, you know, new GCL system, I think it's important to have a tightly knit group of riders and. I think it's important to understand where each of us is coming from and understand each other's horses because uh, we're all you know, at the top of our game and we can all help each other. I think we're incredibly lucky to have a group of six riders who uh, have a ton of respect for each other um, as riders and humans and it's amazing to see how different combinations of us all work together have that team bond and be able to bounce ideas off of each other, I think it's something that's really unique for our group of riders and I'm super grateful for that. With our team, I think we are a little bit ahead with a, with a team manager, with Rob Hoekstra. So I have to make a pretty good plan about where they want to go, not overuse the horses, be able to put the right riders together at different shows in shows that suit those particular horses. And that's a challenge because you have, for instance, a show like Mexico and you go straight to Miami and you couldn't have two more different places. When I travel for the team um, or for any events, it's definitely with a purpose um, and that feels amazing. It's incredible. Again, back to Europe again and, you know, now Paris and then I do Chanty next week and that's with different horses again. And I send two horses that will do New York and two other horses that will stay and do Rome and Saint-Tropez. You know, it's just about getting the right amount of rest and making sure that we're getting to our venues early enough that we can get acclimated and accustomed to what it's going to look like. We're jumping very technical courses and it's just a matter of making sure that we're on top of our mental game and that our physical self is also well enough rested to perform. Try to bring the best horses, try to fight for each other and small details to organize it that it works well at the right time and ah, that helps a lot. If you don't have a plan and you aren't organized like that, I think it's very difficult to achieve that. You want to have a plan and you want to have a concrete plan to be able to build your horses towards certain shows, but at the same time you have to be flexible because these are living animals we deal with and we as humans are human and uh, you know it's, it's just about making sure that uh, we're making the right choices for our horses and that we're giving ourselves the best chances to succeed. I think that probably has a lot to do with you know Jen and Niall picking the team really. She's a great person and she loves her horses, you know, and she loves animals and I think she wanted to have team members that felt the same way. We all have the same idea about that it is the horses come first and then it's winning afterwards. When I'm with my horses I feel calm and at peace. Horses don't think about the future or the past, um, they're really just creatures of the present. Uh, that moment when you're riding and you feel the horse relax underneath you and you know that they're just a little bit calmer because of the way that you're working with them or interacting with them, that's the coolest moment. And connecting with the horses is truly the most magical thing about our sport. <laughs>